Hello, my fellow engineers. When people think of France, images of Paris, the Eiffel Tower, croissants and baguettes usually come to mind. We picture strolls along the Seine, sipping fine wine and indulging in some of the world's best cuisine. But what if I told you that France is also home to one of the most formidable fighter jets ever built? Yes, I know France isn't exactly the first country you think of when it comes to military might, but here's a little plot twist. The French didn't just create any fighter jet, they built one so advanced that it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, and even outmaneuver, the legendary F-22 Raptor. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to a masterpiece of engineering and a true marvel of modern aviation. The Dassault Rafale. Not just a pretty name, the Rafale is a multi-role fighter that's as versatile as a swift army knife and just as sharp. Whether it's air superiority, ground support or deep strike missions, this aircraft does it all that only the French can deliver. The story of the Dassault Rafale begins in the mid-1970s, a time when both the French Air Force and the French Navy were on the lookout for a new cutting-edge aircraft to meet their evolving needs. With both branches requiring similar capabilities, the logical decision was made to issue a joint request for a single aircraft that could serve both purposes. In 1975, the French Ministry of Aviation initiated studies to develop a new fighter that would not only complement the already successful Dassault Mirage 2000, but eventually surpass it. The Dassault company joined the European Combat Aircraft Programme, a joint programme by European countries such as England, Italy, Spain and West Germany, to develop a new air superiority aircraft that would replace the older models. It was at the European Combat Aircraft Programme that France had some misunderstanding with other countries. France demanded a lead role in the programme, where other countries were more in favour of a more egalitarian programme structure. Also, France wanted to build a lightweight, multi-role aircraft, where Britain was in need of a heavy, long-range interceptor. With more disagreements between the countries, France decided to abandon the programme, which later became known for developing the famous Eurofighter Typhoon. Thus, Rafale was born, conceived as a versatile platform capable of replacing a wide range of ageing aircraft within the French military, including the Sepicat Jaguar, Mirage F1C and even the Mirage 2000. The Rafale was designed from the ground up to be a multi-role fighter, embodying the French military's philosophy of flexibility and independence in defence. This was no small task, but the French aerospace industry was up for the challenge, determined to create an aircraft that could dominate in every role, whether it be superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance or even nuclear deterrence. The result was an aircraft that not only met these expectations, but exceeded them, setting new standards in combat aviation. The Rafale's design is a perfect blend of form and function, boasting a sleek delta wing configuration with close coupled canards. Sure, it might look similar to the Eurofighter at first glance, but let's be honest, those canards are so close to the centre that they might as well be on a first-name basis with the cockpit. By moving the canards closer to the centre, it moves the centre gravity to the middle and ensures a wide range of positions for all flight controls and gives the aircraft extreme handling capabilities. The aircraft is designed to be dynamically unstable, coupled with a fly-by-wire system makes the aircraft more agile and manoeuvrable. And also, the pilot's seat is inclined at 29 degrees to improve G-force tolerance. I'm not saying it's similar to another aircraft, but let's just say it rhymes with Viper. The plane also has a cockpit configuration of right-side stick controller and left-hand throttle controller. It's almost like Dassault took a page out of the playbook from across the pond. After all, if you're going to borrow an idea, borrow from the best. But don't be fooled by the familiar layout. The Rafale is far from a copycat. It's an omni-roll aircraft built to excel in every mission profile imaginable. Whether it's dogfighting in the sky, performing reconnaissance or delivering ground strikes, the Rafale does it all, with a payload capacity of 9 tonnes no less. That's right, 9 tonnes. This jet carries more than just a punch, 
it carries a whole arsenal. The Rafale is what we call a 4.5 generation fighter. It's not a true stealth aircraft like the F-22 or F-35, but it's got enough stealth features to make you think twice. You see, the Rafale is not technically a stealth aircraft, but it incorporates as much stealth solutions as it can in order to minimize the radar cross-signature. For starters, it has a gold-plated canopy and radar-absorbent materials, extensive use of composite materials, serrated patterns in the trailing edges in wings and canards. Other parts of the aircraft are modified, such as a reduced size of the tail fin, fuselage reshaping and the reposition of the engine air inlets under the aircraft's wings. 70% of the aircraft's surface is made of composite materials. Also, the engine is engineered to have a smaller heat signature. Speaking of engines, the Rafale originally flew with General Electric F404 engines, but as the project evolved, it upgraded to the Snecma M88, an engineering marvel in its own right. This engine is modular, consisting of 21 parts that can be easily replaced or upgraded without needing a full overhaul. It was done with the objective to reduce the maintenance cost of the engine. In case of repair, it can be done just by returning nothing more than the modules or discrete parts to the depot or to the manufacturer. With the replacement of only the modules, once everything is put in place, no balancing procedure and no run-up checks are necessary before returning the engine to service. The modular design also permits the older engines to be retrofitted with improved subsections upon availability. It's the kind of plug-and-play flexibility that makes maintenance teams breathe a sigh of relief. In fact, you can swap out an engine module and have the jet back in the air in under an hour. Perfect for those I-need-it-yesterday moments. And for those wondering, this engine pumps out 11,000 pounds of thrust or 17,000 pounds with afterburners engaged. Let's just say it's got some serious kick. But the Rafale isn't just easy on the ground crew. It's also designed for low-maintenance operation and even has a built-in auxiliary power unit so it can start up on its own without needing a ground power cart. Compare that to other jets that needed a little help getting started, let's just say the Rafale was built with independence in mind. The Rafale came in three variants. Variant A and B for the French Air Force, which are a single and double-seater variants, and Model C, which is a Navy single-seat variant. The Navy variant has a reinforced structure for landing on ships, including reinforced landing gear, built-in tail hook and ladder. All those modifications increase the Navy variant by 500 kilos, and one feature you see on US Navy fighters is foldable wings that on the Rafale is not available. The aircraft doesn't need foldable wings because when France received its first nuclear power aircraft carrier, Charles de Gaulle, the carrier has enough space to store the aircrafts without modifying the wings. One unusual part of the Navy variant was that the catapult trials were conducted by the US Navy in New Jersey because France doesn't have a catapult test facility. Inside the cockpit, the Rafale is all about data fusion. The pilot has a wide-angle holographic head-up display, two head-down flat-panel color multifunction displays, and a central collimated display, all touch interfaces. Because who has time for buttons? All the systems in the plane can be controlled with voice command, such as managing radio communications, countermeasure systems, selection of armament, radar modes, and navigation systems. But you know what it can't control? Yet yeah, it's the firing of weapons. The most important decision was left for the pilot to proceed with. Imagine trying to explain that your plane accidentally fired a missile on its own. Yeah, that's not a conversation anyone wants to have. Being a somewhat of a stealthy aircraft, it also has an automatic flight in terrain following mode. This feature can be used in all weather conditions, even with zero visibility. Apart from already incorporating some stealth features, this feature allows the aircraft to fly at low altitudes below the radar, making it more hard to detect. For a defensive system, it has a system called Spectra, incorporating various methods of detection, jamming and decoy. And the system was designed to be highly reprogrammable for addressing new threats and incorporating new systems. The Rafale is equipped with an RBE-2AA radar with a detection range of up to 200 kilometers. But with a good radar like that, 
the aircraft is heavily reliant on the sensory target pods such as the Damocles Optronics. As it was developed as an omni-role aircraft, it can carry a variety of weapons from air-to-air, air-to-ground and anti-ship missiles. With 14 hardpoints for weapons and external fuel tanks, the Rafale has a payload capacity of 9,000 kilograms. It is also equipped with the Meteor Very Long Range Beyond Visual Missile and also the Mika Beyond Visual Missile, which allows the aircraft to increase its range beyond that of the aircraft. The plane is also equipped with hammer missiles, scalp long-range standoff missile, AM-39 anti-ship missiles, laser-guided bombs and conventional non-guided bombs. Also, let's not forget it also has a Nexta 30M791 30mm internal cannon. Oh, and did I mention this nimble jet is also capable of conducting nuclear strikes? Yes, someone decided that this sleek, agile fighter should also carry the ultimate deterrent. Talk about versatility! Thanks to its advanced avionics, the Rafale can seamlessly switch between different mission profiles within the same sortie. Imagine flying an air-to-air -air engagement, then transitioning to air-to-ground strikes, followed by a reconnaissance mission, all without heading back to base. That's the kind of flexibility that makes the Rafale truly stand out as an omni-role aircraft. The Rafale first saw action between 2006 and 2011, deployed by both the French Air Force and Navy in Afghanistan. In these operations, it demonstrated exceptional precision and reliability, delivering laser-guided bombs with pinpoint accuracy and providing critical air support to ground forces. The aircraft's performance in Afghanistan wasn't just impressive, it was a clear statement of its tangible military value. The Rafale further cemented its reputation during coalition operations in Libya. There, it carried out a wide array of missions from air superiority and precision strikes to intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. Whether dominating the skies, gathering crucial intel or delivering devastating strikes on strategic targets, the Rafale proved itself to be a formidable and versatile fighter, capable of adapting to the rapidly changing dynamics of modern combat. The aircraft is made with the idea of low maintenance in mind and lots of parts of the aircraft are modular, meaning that they can be changed when a new component is ready. The Rafale is slated to become the sole aircraft of the French Air Force and the French Navy. That's why the aircraft is undergoing constant improvements. The Rafale program is a continuous development to adapt the aircraft to changing needs through a succession of standards. Some of these new updates include new and improved sensors, new modes for the radar to increase tracking and firing capabilities, thus significantly increasing again the lethality of the fighter. New helmet-mounted display to accelerate the designation and acquisition of targets and also major improvements in the field of connectivity allow the aircraft to perform at maximum levels in every environment. The Rafale has proven itself time and again not just as a symbol of French innovation, but as a world-class multi-role aircraft that can adapt, survive and thrive in any environment. Whether it's dominating the skies, striking ground targets with precision or conducting critical reconnaissance missions, the Rafale stands ready to face any challenge, anywhere, anytime. With its continuous upgrades and future-proof design, the Rafale isn't just a fighter jet, it's a testament to what's possible when engineering meets ambition. Until next time, fly high and stay curious!